damn boy, I ain't never in my life seen a person just hold on to wanting to, like, people would rather die with, with eating pork. When you talk about that, when you talk about obedience to the commandments, when you talk about, like, the other nations going to be punished for putting our people in, in the condition, in the slums, in these places like poor ghettos and stuff like that. Justice for the Israelites, the so-called Hispanics, Blacks, and Native Americans. When you start speaking like that, the first thing that goes through people's minds is hate. You hate. You hate. Obedience to the commandments. Know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God, if any man defile the temple of God. When you talk about defiling your temple, eating certain things, you you automatically you're the enemy when you speak about those things. As long as you're speaking about those characteristics that I just mentioned, you hate and you actually the enemy. But if you say, you know, God going to bless you. I see the Holy Ghost is going to bless you with, with a lot of money. And I see God going to do this and that and the third. Holly, Holly, Moshadi, I see the Holy Ghost right now is telling me. When you get into the foolishness like that, they're your friend. They'll sit right there and sit up under you all day and suck up what you say. And they'll remember everything that you just said. But when you go to telling them about the prophecy and breakdowns and stuff of the Bible, oh shit, they uh, look, it's like they know where you're going. They don't want to hear that. They ain't going to make no excuses for it. They're not going to put no justifications on it. They're not going to do none of that shit. They're going to accept what you say if you tell them something good like that. Oh, I see the Holy Spirit is telling me you're going to be blessed in a matter of a, a, a week. Before the week is out, it can be any time. The Holy Ghost said, you're going to have that money. I see the Holy Ghost is speaking to me right now, telling me, you're going to have that check. They have flocked after that. Christianity has got our people. That's, that's how Christianity do. It sifts you. And they know we living in the last days. Our people is so rebellious and hate the truth so much. They'd rather hold on to it even though God would come over here and send them nukes over here and destroy America. I believe a lot of people is that fucked, is that screwed up, that fucked up until they would rather say, no, I'd rather than this was hit me and I died in my sin because I want to eat this damn pork. I want to eat these damn pig feet. They love that. They, they love that lifestyle. Christianity just got out some people. Our people so damaged they can't even come back. Christianity and God, it's like letting something sit up in the mold and it's damaged. You can't eat it no more. You got to throw it in the trash. That's how literally how people are. No matter what you tell them, no matter how you break it down to them, you can show it to them and say, God said, you are the temple of God. Obey my, obey me and keep my commandments. No, that ain't what he's saying. And it's like, okay, I'm literally reading it out the Bible. Obey me and keep my commandments. You can even show it to them reading just like that. They gonna, it's like they're not going to hear it. That's how fucked up some of our people are. How can you be that numb Eve and you claim you you follow God and you but when God says obedience, keep my commandments. Don't eat this, don't eat that. You're going to defile your temple. Oh, it's not about what you're going to eat. Uh, eating this and that is not going to get you into hell. So that means you can sleep with somebody's wife then. You can sleep with another woman's husband and you'll be all right. You think, it, you think you're going to be all right. When the Bible clearly tells you, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, should I take the members of Christ and then make them the members of a harlot? Y'all know they got all of, all this is in Paul's letter as much as the, the so-called Christians want to quote Paul's letters out of context. And don't have no understanding of what idea of what it's saying. They just quote stuff what they want out of context. 
You tell them, oh, uh, it ain't talking about food. We can eat whatever we want to eat. No breakdowns, no nothing. But when you tell them about obedience, oh, I don't want to hear that. Our people are going to hold on to, they'd rather hold on to the damn lie than to actually get the breakdown of what they're talking about. Like, God damn, like, what do most I need to do? He need to send your ass to Spain and break your ass down or what? This is crazy, man, how people think. Christianity got our people destroyed as they, they Christianity did some damage to our people. That's the video title. Christianity and did some damage to our people. I'm out.